What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Mo. We are back for another episode review. This is a poll, season two, episode seven, Blow. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with the thumbs up or thumbs down and hit the notification button so you will know whenever I upload new content, y'all. This episode was cute. Of course, it had its emotional parts to it, like it always does, its funny parts to it as well. I enjoyed this episode. It was really, really good. I enjoyed it. So, um, let's go and get right into it, y'all. So, Vogue ain't popping like it used to no more. You know what I'm saying? Damon only got but three people in his class. His boss comes to him after one of his classes, give him his check, and he like, oh, he think it's gonna be popping like it's been popping. So, he opened it up. He like, oh, shit, I barely got enough get, uh, you know, bus fare or whatever. So, she tells him, you know, Vogue ain't popping like it used to, and we really can't afford to keep the classes open like this. So, unless you're trying to teach everybody the hammer, you know, hammer, man, hammer, Hammer, man, you know, then we're gonna have to cancel your class or whatever like that. And so he kind of like, you know, that really my thing. I think he tells her he gonna think about it. I don't know, I can't remember. I didn't put it in my notes. But he ain't really trying to teach nobody the hammer and ain't nobody showing up for the vote. So what the hell is you gonna do? Even over there at the ball, pray tell saying that, you know, cause it's it's scarce up there in the ball. Like you can see, I mean in the ball, you can see straight through the crowd. It hardly ain't nobody up in there. But pray tell lets them know, you know, look here. Don't get down now and get discouraged because you all already know we already popping once before. We're going to be popping again. The ballroom scene going to be what it is. And as soon as we back popping again, the looky-loos going to be back. They're going to be all up in the mix trying to see what the hell it is that we doing. So I don't want nobody getting down and down and getting discouraged on themselves because, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bitch, we popping once before. We're going to be popping again. So that's what, you know, Daddy Pray Tell always has to give his little pep talks. Make, make the children feel good or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he does. It was cute. Moving on. Y'all, so Frederica ass done went and lied to the press and told the press that Blanca and everybody else that was out there protesting left condoms and hypodermic needles all around the alley of the damn salon, which you know was a damn lie. Basically, they were trying to imply without saying that they left AIDS and HIV every goddamn where, which we know was a fucking lie. Ain't none of that doggone crap happened. So... Blanca and you know pray tell are talking and Blanca tells them you know not only is she stressed about that but the kids is losing their damn mind Ricky and Damon just laid up at the house drinking wine cool as hot and sweaty all dog on day sweating up the house Lulu down there working on the pole and then she looked like she strung out on dog on something because she don't look like her dog on self and so she like you know we need to do something to get these kids back motivated because Damon I mean um Ricky ain't booking no more gigs he getting callbacks but he get no gigs so pray tell and Blanca want to come up with some kind of way to get the kids back motivated as well as that that um the group that they're with act up you know the aids and uh, aids hiv awareness group they want to do something that's going to bring awareness to the community as well as you know getting the word out about spreading you know um using condoms and that hiv is not a killer and you know just educating people about hiv and aids and again at the same time they want to motivate these kids to get up off their ass and do something like don't just sit and wait for the next big opportunity to come your way get out there and do something right so they get the kids together. They get Ricky, Damon, and Lulu together. And so they tell them, like, look, we need y'all to use y'all three little brains and come up with a way that we can get this out there. We can get our way to be, we want this to be on the news. We want to do something big. So, but at the same time, we want to get back at Frederica's ass for it, right? So Blanca come up with the idea that she wants to put Frederica's, she wants to put a condom around her house. Now, how they gonna do that? That's up to the kids to figure out how to do, right? So Damon, Lulu, and Ricky, they get back, you know, to the house or whatever, right, and they brainstorming. So Lulu actually comes up with a good-ass idea to call one of those bounce house companies and see if they can actually make an inflatable condom for them that they're going to put over Frederica's house. Y'all, you got to stick around for it. It was funny as hell. But the biggest problem that they have with that is money. Because, you know, ain't none of them really working to afford the money that's going to take to make a custom condom to put around somebody's house, right? So Lulu, smart girl, she goes and works her jelly on Miss Electra, right? Now, she goes down to Electric Abundance uh, where she works over there at the little s and place, whatever, right? And so she kind of bribes her. She tells her she gets in her mind, her mental, right? She's like, you know what? Pray tell really made you look bad and you look bad to the community and you know when you did your little Marie Antoinette thing bitch you shut shit 
down but um you know you just not getting the respect that you need out here in these streets and that was like yeah well most of that was pray tell and you know he read me for filth and yada 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 so lulu's like well you know how you can make up for this you know you give us the money that we need you know this will show the community right here that you real about it that you stand up and that you support and if anything else it could probably raise the dead for mother of the year baby that's all electric needed to hear as long as the spotlight was gonna be on her in some kind of way that's all she needed to hear so homegirl gives Lulu a thousand and tells her that she'll let her work for uh, fifteen hundred. And baby, when I tell you work, she means work. She had an outfit already there in her locker ready. Made Lulu come and work for her in her little sex dungeon, girl, beating somebody ass with the sexy kind of beating they ass. Had them locked up and chained and shit, and she whooping their ass, girl, getting paid big money for it. Now I would like to know. Not for me, for research purposes. Where are places like this where one can possibly acquire to get employment at? Not for me, of course. I'm just saying, I ne you know, I'm in school. I might need to write a paper on the S and M's, and I would need to know where to go to find out this particular information. So, if anybody knows what I said, you know what I'm saying? Just for research purposes, holla at your girl. So. Angel makes breakfast in bed for Poppy, right? She says she want to show Big Daddy she appreciate him because he's been working hard and all of this, right? So, I think... Uh, I love Angel and Poppy together. They are so doggone cute. So, as they sitting there chilling, whatever, you know, he's giving her this pep talk, telling her, you know, you're going to be the next big thing, that you're beautiful, yada, yada, yada. Poppy is... <laughs> Poppy. I got to say a sip, a sip to you on that, Poppy. But anyways... As they're sitting there chilling, Angel ends up getting a call from Miss Ford. Come to find out, she wants her to be the new BB girl. BB, bitch. I used to wear the hell out some BB back in the day. As you, girl, jeans had me fit right. But anyways, so they want to go out and celebrate. Block, I'm sorry, not Blanca. Angel got invited to this fancy upscale club in New York. And Poppy's like, I want to go with you. But Angel, like, the only way you're going to go is if you're my boyfriend. So, like, they going together now, whatever. That's cute. So, they go to this little club. I think it's called Club Nails or whatever, right? They out there uh, at the club. And so, when she's in the club, she ends up running into somebody who, who she knows from the uh, modeling scene. I think it's a photographer or something like that or whatever, right? So, he ends up inviting them to the VIP section, right? They go up there to the VIP section. Everybody up there snorting lines, bitch. Everybody up there getting tooted and booted. So, of course, they offer it to Angel and to Poppy. And Angel like, okay, cool. You know, she was just finna go down and get into it. Poppy like, mm, hold on. Hey, yo, my man, where the bathroom at? We, I'm finna go holler at my girl we finna go to the bathroom. He telling her like, girl, you seen how my ass was homeless for a whole month over some damn drugs? Bitch, that's not what we finna do. Angel asks, all she heard the man say was well, this is pharmacal sued, I mean, this is pharmacal grade um, stuff that we got here. All she heard was pharmaceutical, period. So she automatically thinking like it's medicine like Tylenol or ibuprofen, you get out the cabinet. That's what she's telling Poppy. They both so fucking naive. He listens to her. They go to the damn line like it ain't nothing just like that, baby. Bell Bib the vote comes on. Do me, baby. Ooh. They out there on the damn dance floor at girl. All here with it. With the lights. You know how they be sweating and shit. They just feeling every goddamn thing, right? Next thing you know, which was what we already knew was going to happen, they got back to the house and was getting it in. You see Poppy little button ass. That was cute, but I knew that was going to happen. But they go together, whatever, now, now. It's supposed to be a one-time thing that they was partying. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the shit become an addiction. So, they get to the hotel. It is, um, it's Blanca, Electra, Nurse Judy, Pray Tell, Ricky, and Damon, right? Now, they got to, they wanted to get a hotel that's closer to Frederica's house so they could be there, you know what I'm saying, to set up the little prank or whatever on her. So, Act Up paid for two rooms for them, two rooms, one for the women and one for the men, right? So, Pray Tell, Damon, and Ricky are in one room and it's only two beds, right? So, of course, Damon is like, uh, bitch, I'm not gonna sleep in a bed with his nasty ass. No, fuck him with his cheating ass so damon goes and gets a cot for ricky to sleep on while he's going to get in the cot pray tell and ricky have a conversation and pray tell could tell that you know ricky was kind of down a little bit now for a quick minute there it seemed like ricky was kind of coming on to pray tell i don't know if that was just me mistaking it but that's what it seemed like but anyways 
Pray tell could tell that something was wrong, wrong with Ricky. So Ricky tells him that he gets a call from Chris. Chris told him that he's HIV positive. Now, pray tell is like, you know, um, you smarter than that. You need to be using protection. Ricky claims that he only got head from Chris that they didn't mess around, which I don't believe that at all. Because if you remember some past episodes, Ricky done admitted that he don't always use condoms all the time. So even if you only got head from this man, which I doubt you did because you was living with him. Come on now. Um, regardless, you was out there living reckless. So Pray Tell tells him that he needs to take an HIV test as well as he needs to let Damon know what's going on. And of course, he, don't, he wants to wait until he finds out everything first and then he'll let him know from that but like i said for a minute there it seemed like ricky was trying to come on to pray to i don't know but i was like uh-uh that's daddy don't do that so it's the next day and they get to frederica's house right and the news camera is already out there so it was dope they actually set up the kind of inflatable condom like on the front part of her house had they put it around the whole house, that would have been dope as hell. I'd have passed the hell out. But it was cute. It was a good message that they sent. Of course, Electra was there. Uh, I keep calling this bitch Electric. Electra Abundance was there. Barking out orders to everybody. Cussing out the white women that was coming up. Threatening to call the police and all of that. I was proud of Abundance. She came through. She was there for her people. She was there, you know, doing what she had to do. And so everything turned out really, really good. And, of course, they can't show penis on TV. Although, they can say, suck my this. They can say, fuck shit, damn bitch, and all that. But they should, they couldn't show an inflatable penis on TV. That's neither here nor there. It was cute the way they did it. But I, I like the next thing you know, right? So, it's that night they celebrated for dinner. Block in the kitchen cooking. She tells Damon to go and get Poppy and Angel so they can come to eat. Man, when I tell you... Damon accidentally bust in on Ricky and, um, I'm sorry, on uh, Angel and Poppy right after they got through Goose and whatever, right? So he like, oh, my bad. So she startles Angel to where she drops the vial of goddamn coke that they had. Now, that was supposed to be a one-time thing, but they all, you know, not. I've heard that sex is real good on that. I don't know nothing about that. I did a little weed. That's all I know about. I don't know nothing about that coke shit. That's all I'm saying about that. And I knock nobody that done did that. But that's what I heard. I done dated niggas on that. Whew. But anyways, Damon lets them know, like, look here. Poppy, you of all people know, you shouldn't be out here messing around with this shit because y'all ass got put out the last time. And if mother catches y'all with you, catches y'all asses with this, y'all gonna be buried right there next to Candy. So goddamn it, do something about it. But, you know, they claim they were celebrating because she got the new spot as being a BB girl. Regardless, Damon, he like, look here, if I catch this shit again, I'm going to tell him, mama, period. And that's on everything. So Blanca's at her shop and Frederica walk home, mean ass up in there, ready to start some shit. She says that Blanca embarrassed her, that people are looking at her as being prejudiced, that, uh, what did she say? That people are laughing at her. They're calling her mean. And she actually kind of gives Blanca her props. You know what I'm saying? She was like, you know what? If I hate your ass, I'd maybe like you. Blanca like, well, bitch, we just going to keep on fighting the good fight, ho. Because I ain't going no dog on where. Frederica like, all right, bitch, we going to see. So she ended up leaving or whatever. Later on, Blanca and Lulu end up sitting down having a little girl talk, a little dinner, whatever. And so Lulu thanks Blanca for pulling her out of her depression. Because when she was down and out at her lowest, being depressed, you know, losing her best friend candy blanca was there for her and she didn't have to be there for her you know mother blanca always comes through baby mother blanca is mother of the year god damn it as far as i'm concerned period but um after that what happened after that um oh so ricky y'all Ricky and Pray Tell are at the doctor's office. Ricky, they both waiting in the waiting room to get Ricky's results back from his HIV test, right? Now, he says he got a phone call, told him to come in. They sit in the lobby. They call his number up. And before he goes back there, he's sitting out there and he's talking to Pray Tell. And now, I know for sure at this time, he kind of tried to holler at Pray Tell. Because he was like, well, what if I meant to daddy's? I was like, boy, if you don't sit your little hot dick ass down some damn where. So anyways, the nurse ends up calling Ricky's number. Ricky goes back there. So she's like, okay, gay mail, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so your test came back positive. I need to know if you have a doctor. I need the number to anybody else that you done slept with before. I need to know um, what you probably going to be doing when you leave from here. And um, all right, like it was casual. 
Like it wasn't nothing. Like it was just like a regular day of the week. Ricky starts freaking the hell out. He's like, uh-uh, you finna have to do this test again. I know this shit ain't right. This shit is wrong. She be like, look here, but you you said on your paperwork that you have had multiple partners, that you do not always use protection. So what did you expect to happen? Like, I understand that. You know, the the environment that she works in, in that particular field, that it's common for her to come across positive, you know, HIV testing. But her bedside manner, in my opinion, being that I work in the medical field, could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot more empathetic. But, I mean, you know what I'm saying? That was back then where you 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 were treated as if you had the plague, like you had leprosy if you tested positive for HIV, you were the unforgotten, I mean, you were the forgotten about. You were the the ones that they threw to the side. So for her just giving another, okay, yes, you're positive, you know, I need the names of the people you done slept with before, I need your doctor's name and um, have a good day. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't nothing. He was devastated, y'all. I started crying, even though a part of me kind of knew. Soon as he said he got the phone call, to get called back in for his results, I already knew. I already knew. All I needed was for him to give the confirmation that yes, he is positive for it. So he goes out there and um, he tells Pray Tell and he just breaks down crying in Pray Tell's arms. He's like, I'm going to die. And Pray Tell is just holding him, letting him know like, look, I got you. I got you. I got you. You ain't going to die. Not on my watch. Not today. God damn it. We in this together. Y'all, so it's the first day that Angel is finna shoot as being the new BB girl. Her ass is two hours late to her call time. Miss Ford is pissed the hell off, blowing her phone up, trying to get in contact with her. She can't get through to her. Call time was at 7.30. 9.15, Angel ass come rolling through the goddamn door, hung over, high as fuck. Poppy actually had to pull her ass in there. Miss Ford is like, look, do you want to get worn out? Like, this is your big shot, bitch. Look around. Everybody here for you. This is your opportunity to fucking shine. So what I need you to do is decide whether you want to be here and do this or whether you want to be strung out and be somewhere with your shoulda, woulda, couldas. Either way it go, you finna get it together because I done invested in your goddamn ass. So so she calls hair and makeup to come in and, you know, fix her ass up. Angel is embarrassed. Like I said, she's hungover. She's devastated. So she puts her head down. She hears a voice, says, well, hello, Angel. She looks up, and it's a photographer that her, Blanca, and Poppy went and whooped his ass because he made her take them naked pictures and tried to exploit her ass. And that's where the episode ended, child. When I seen him, I was like, what the fuck? But then again, it kind of made me think, like, I wonder if he set some shit up. I wonder if he he had some kind of insight as to who the new BB girl could be. And so he set that up on purpose. And so he going to end up trying to get back at Angel some kind of way, y'all. That instantly gave me bubbles in my stomach when I seen that, y'all. But that was the end of the episode review right there, y'all, for Pose. I hope y'all enjoyed the review. Please let me know what you think about it. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see y'all in the next video. Auntie Leisure, baby. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.